In the year 2024, I set out an ambitious goal, $40,000 in side hustle income in a single year. But little did I realize that there was another ambitious goal behind this, and that is recording a short video, a YouTube short, every single day in 2024. So obviously right now I'm recording this video February 4th. So we have been recording a short and posting one every single night since January 1st. Now the challenge that I posted has changed a little bit, but I just want to give some overall feedback on what my experience has been with the analytics for this channel becoming uh, short based every single night, yet still producing long form content like the video that you're posting right now. There seems to be a fear in the YouTube community that if you start posting shorts more consistently, even if you're a long form content, the algorithm for YouTube can get confused. Maybe it starts focusing on your shorts more. Maybe your audience doesn't really mesh and your long form content starts to dwindle. The algorithm doesn't want to pick up that because it expects you to post a short. Well, here are my experiences posting a short every single night. We'll get into the analytics. We'll get into revenue. We'll get into how it has affected my long form videos. Here we go. So just to give some context on this channel, because it'll help describe the relationship between shorts and the long term videos that I do here. So I focus on side hustles and the whole original start of this channel was to just document my progress, make myself self accountable and keep track of everything that I'm earning and see what's working and see what's not. If YouTube picked up some attention from it and I gained momentum, then so be it. I had no idea that YouTube was gonna take off for me as much as it did. As you can see on the screen there, 16,631 subscribers. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I was gonna get over 10,000 subscribers doing this type of stuff, but it has, and it is quite quickly and as transparent as I am in this channel, it's what I do. It has quickly became become my number one side hustle. I'm earning above and beyond the most on YouTube than I am on any other side hustle. And that's not even up for debate except for like consulting work. But I don't really count that because that's hard to get into. Not everyone can do what I do and it's a very niche thing. So I'm not going to include that. But YouTube above and beyond in terms of online side hustles, side hustles that anyone can pick up and do. This is above and beyond my highest moneymaker. So I've been taking YouTube a lot more seriously this year, seeing the income coming in. It just makes more sense, right? It's a, it's a feasible business option for me right now. It's gaining momentum. And I wanted to do a short every single day Kind of an experiment to go against the algorithm because I think a lot of people have a negative say about posting shorts and long form content at the same time. I, you know, They say like the audiences don't mesh, your subscribers will only watch one and not the other and so on and so forth. I get it, I understand it. You gotta fear the almighty algorithm, right? But also I'm the type of person stupidly who works harder and not smarter. So by grinding it out and putting at least one video on my channel every single day, I kind of want to see that would that make my channel explode? Would I get way more subscribers? Would it help fuel the algorithm? Cause YouTube's saying, Hey, this guy's posting every single day. Let's give him a shout out and help him grow a little bit more because it helps bring advertisers to the platform. If people are watching his stuff every single day, it's a little bit of an experiment. Also shorts revenue income. Is there any to be made? I've done shorts in the past, but I haven't really followed the income from them. I know that like when YouTube shorts first started, it was terrible. So I'm kind of curious, will YouTube shorts pay a lot more in the future? Will it try to take over TikToks place and really start to encourage people to do shorts video instead of long form. I'm got to experiment here. I want to see like what happens in the month of January versus the month of December this year. Does my constant every single day posting get me anywhere? So with that context out of the way, let's get into the analytics of my shorts. First and foremost, just want to prove to everyone out there that I have put out a short every single day. So you can see, you can see all of these are public. Here's the short and then here's the date. So January 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm just going to scroll up just to show I haven't missed a single day. And all of these are public. So I haven't like deleted or delisted any of these, but all the way up towards February 3rd because today's February 4th. So I'm going to put one out tonight after some time. And that's another thing that's interesting too posting two videos at the same time, a long form content video and a short all within like usually three hours for me. So I'll touch on that too. But here's just proof that I have indeed uploaded a short every single day. 
So let's talk about the views that I'm getting just to give perspective and see if it's growing over time. Um, so as you can see, day one here, I started out at 840 views. This is pretty common. I used to do views in the past. So 800 is about right. And then we got 900, 500, 500, 800. And then we had a pretty big lull. And as you can see, I'm not doing anything special here. I just have like a simple banner saying which day it is. So the thumbnail, I guess you could say could use work or whatever, but I really don't see a difference in thumbnails. I'll get in that later. But as you can see right here was then a lull, 420, 170, 490, 340. So pretty much lost half of the views uh, after like eight days of posting every single day. So, you know, you could just quit right there and say, oh, the algorithm's not working. So let's see if anything got better. So it keeps staying pretty low. I had a one random spike where I went over 1000. This was on day 16. So 16 days in it was the highest I got. And then all of a sudden around day 18, I started getting consistently near or over a thousand views 1800 1600 900 1200 1500 i had probably you could argue an even uglier thumbnail which is why i'm saying i don't think thumbnails have anything to do with it at all but one thing i would like to point out is that i also started doing a new intro around this time and i tried to do this intro as like kind of like an attention getter there's loud there's like noises immediately, there's constantly changing frames, so it keeps the viewer's attention, keeps preventing them from swiping away. But I think that's getting stale. I've been using it since like day 19 on, um, and I think it's getting a little bit stale, and we'll get into that in a little bit. But there's the views, uh, 1500, 1900, a little lull there, 650. And as you can see, like there's nothing going on different here with the thumbnail, and the video format has pretty much been exactly the same. 1,000, almost 2,000, 1,600, 400, but that's not a, one of my challenge videos. 2,000, 2,300, 15, 11, 2,300, and then yesterday's only 161. So it's interesting. There really does not seem to be any rhyme or reason here. Uh, the thumbnails don't really seem to make a difference. As you can see, I had this really basic thumbnail for a while now. I was getting around 1,000 to 2,000 views. Then I stopped doing those thumbnails, and three of these videos got over 2,000 views, and I did essentially the same exact thing yesterday, and only 161 views. Now, keep in mind, if you are a person who does not like to get downvoted, or like thumbs down, uh, let's see if I can move the screen here. There you go. Look at all those dislikes. That's just what happens on shorts. A lot of people dislike it. Just I think it's because they don't want that kind of content in their algorithm. So you get a lot more dislikes. So if that's something discouraging to you. That's just something to keep in mind, but it doesn't really impact anything in my opinion. But as you can see, I really don't see any rhyme or reason. Now I'm going to have to mix it up. I think the intro has gotten a little bit stale, maybe change up the video format a little bit. But I just wanted to show that, you know, the thumbnail doesn't really matter. And there seems to be a lack of consistency because I post each short around the same time each night. I live on the East Coast. I post anywhere from 7 to 9 p.m. usually. So the time is consistent. I'm feeding into the algorithm when they would expect it. But some just take off a lot more than others. Like the day 33 gets um, 70 likes, 2,300 views. And then the very next one, a very similar style video, is 161 views so kind of hard to explain from a view standpoint but let's look into the other uh, uh, analytics of my shorts okay so you're looking at my analytics page for my shorts as you can see here channel analytics content and we are under shorts and shorts only and here is the date it this is complete 2024 information so i got over 81,000 views and it equated to 228 subscribers now as you can see the views were pretty stagnant and you're wondering you know i showed you videos that have way less than this amount of views i have old shorts that are still continuing to get some views but as you can see all out of nowhere it seems like in the middle of january there seems to be some spikes here and i don't know if the algorithm just picked it up a little bit more or if it liked the new intro that i introduced in like january 19th here but there was still a spike before that so like i said i can't seem to find any consistency here between why it exploded all of a sudden it explodes for me in terms of like doubling the amount of views that i typically get even tripling in some instances and then it just crashes like it did yesterday and there's no explanation at all so 
you can see down here how many choose to view. Uh, if you're a shorts oriented channel, like all you do is shorts, you're gonna think that this ratio is terrible. But for me personally, 54% is pretty good. But if you are a diehard shorts only creator, you're gonna find that that percentage should be closer to 70, even 80% viewed versus swiped away. You need that instant click, that instant connection, have them watch the entire uh, short if you're doing short form content. But I think that's also another thing to address here is that my shorts are typically around 30 to 40 seconds. So you're not going to find any like five second shorts that I'm doing in my daily uploads. Maybe a here here and like a one off. I'll do like a five second short that I had this year. But these are typically around 30 seconds. So you're going to have uh, lower overall retention. So that could absolutely be affecting my overall performance. But I noticed that this used to be around 40 to 45% viewed. So I am increasing it. And I think the new intros have helped, but I'm going to have to mix the intro up as like I said, but 228 subscribers. So on the surface, 228, that sounds pretty good. And as you can see here in this metric, 52% more than uh, like all of December when I was posting some shorts there. So it's like the subscriber count is going up and that's, you might think that's really good. But if we hit all here instead of just shorts, as you can see, 228 for shorts, but my long form content is absolutely the one that's getting people going. Now, there you can see there, 35 shorts versus 16 long form videos here. And if I move my head here, my long form videos have indeed gotten more views in 2024 over my shorts, despite posting more than double the amount of shorts versus videos on my channel. But for some people that might be shocking because shorts usually tend to get a lot more views quickly, but nonetheless, people seem to like my long form content a little bit more. I'm not going to ruin that, but that's just how my shorts have gone. But as you can see, here's an important metric is that I have six thousand eight hundred people returning to my shorts so this is a good overlap right here and if we scroll down here oh, i guess it's not in this yeah it's right here so viewers across both formats in the last 28 days i have 30 percent of people who are watching my long form content only that's to be expected but 69 percent are watching both long form content and my shorts so i think this is really important that if you're going to try my method which is like a hybrid between shorts and long form content they really have to be interconnected like you can't you can't say shorts i'm going to do vlogs even though that's kind of what i'm doing and then my long form is going to be educational or something like that you have to marry the two and i believe i have a really good synchronization between my shorts and my long form content because my long form content talks about the side hustles in depth and then my shorts talk about how much money i'm earning every single day from the side hustles that i teach on my long form content i shouldn't say teach the ones that i do and show off in more detail on my long form content so there is a good synchronization there and i think that's why i get a huge chunk of my audience that watches both shorts and your long form content. That's kind of what you want, right? But interestingly enough, no people are just watching my shorts, which you might think is problematic, but for me personally, since I'm doing long form and short form content, that's a really good sign. It's because you're getting people who are subscribing to shorts and they're also watching my videos. I mean, that's, they're gonna be lumped into this group where they're watching both videos and shorts. They're not just watching my shorts every single night. Now, you might not want that. You might want people to have, a, you might have a shorts only audience, but then you're gonna start splitting up the algorithm, right? So I think when you marry uh, two, like I'm trying to do here, you're going to get the best of both worlds, which is what a lot of people are striving for. But you have to be really careful if your shorts are on like video games and your long forms on making cookies or something. There's no mix there. And you're going to have people who are subscribing to your channel for video games that'll never watch your cookie stuff and vice versa. And the algorithm gets confused what you're actually trying to push. So if you're trying for a hybrid method, definitely marry the two concepts. Try not to split your audience into two. Make them come to your channel for both short and long form content. But enough about the analytics part of it. Let's talk about revenue. So first, let's look at an individual video and see how much revenue it got, just so you can get an idea of how many 
how much money per thousand views that I would get on a typical one of these. So I'm gonna pick this one here, this uh, day 29. And as you can see, it has 2,097 views. So essentially 2,000 views. So we'll just click analytics here. So as you can see here, 2,100 views essentially, got two subscribers, made 35 cents. And oddly enough, people are still watching uh, 48 hours ago even though I posted this on January 29th. It's just interesting that some people kind of just go down the line then and follow the entire playlist. But 35 cents for 2000 views. Now, if you're doing long form content, that is an absolutely god awful number. However, for shorts, in my experience, it's getting way better, which is why I'm focused on trying to do some more and see if it grows even further. When YouTube first introduced shorts and you were able to monetize them, my shorts, even some that were having thousands and thousands of views, my top short has around 70,000 views, I believe. Um, they were paying out roughly three to four cents per thousand views. And you're looking at this here. Now they're paying 15 to 18 cents per per thousand views. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot. A lot of people can make a lot of viral shorts that get millions and millions of views. It's a lot easier to get a ton of views. So that 15 to 18% uh, per thousand views on shorts revenue is nothing to sneeze at. It's pretty impressive. And if, you know, one of mine pop off to get like 10,000 views or something, which would be awesome and incredible. Um, you're talking what, like a dollar 70 or something, which doesn't sound impressive, but a dollar 70 for a video that's 30 seconds long or whatever, that's pretty good in my opinion. So we'll see if it continues to pay higher and higher throughout the year, or maybe it decreases. Or does it stay flat? This is part of the cool experiment of me uploading every single day is that I'll be able to track it and see what the trends are. So that's money on the individual. How about for the overall year? What did we make on shorts? So let's look at that. So as you can see to the right of my face here, uh, we're in 2024 only. Shorts only $7.09. Now what's interesting is that I said that I was making 15 cents to 18 cents per thousand views. And so why am I showing a nine cents here? I have older videos that just don't seem to be getting as much RPM here, but the newer ones, as you just saw, 2,100 views, 35 cents. 15 to 18 cents is more what I'm seeing in line after like mid January and on is what I'm getting here. So this is just an average that's diluted a little bit by the other views that I'm getting on older shorts, stuff that doesn't necessarily have high paying niche categories as my side hustle ones, but $7 and nine cents for the year. So obviously I'm not gonna be able to live off that. I can't even afford my $20 a month cell phone bill with that yet. I'm gonna keep it going, see what happens, see if I can earn any more money throughout the year. If it grows, maybe one of my videos comes viral, maybe I somehow get thousands of subscribers at it and my shorts explode and it becomes its own self-fulfilling thing. Who knows? But $7 for the year. So nothing to really write home about yet. It's pretty cool that I'm making anything off of these shorts that don't take too much time to edit and post every day. But there is some return on my daily grind work posting a video every single day. It's good to see that there's some return. It's just, you know, when you're someone like me who's a ridiculously good video is going to make 1500 views for a short for me seven dollars nothing to complain about really uh the long form content's where i make my money as you can see here just in 2024 alone this video has actually made me over a thousand dollars now at this point it's my first and only uh one thousand dollar video but i made almost two hundred dollars on this in a month and i posted that last year like seven or eight months ago and it's still making me money it's nice and passive but Long form is obviously where you're going to make your money. You can do longer content, get more ads like I'm doing this video. I'm going to post a mid roll ad and you can make more money. That's just how it is. But I'm curious to see if I can make any of my shorts videos pop off, go viral. And if anything spirals from there, I'm going to continue to upload a short every single day. So let's get into some concluding thoughts of mine. So in conclusion, posting a short every single night has not hurt my channel. Even when I post a long form video and a short term video on the same night, both of them get the same respectable views per their category as they usually would. I don't notice a significant drop off in my long form content when I post a short uh, like an hour after there's no like hybrid there and people seem to watch both videos which I'm very thankful for so thank you to all who are watching this channel one thing that I would like to note is that if you're in the Amazon shopical shopable 
program where it's like you can tag videos. Like I'll put, I always put my microphone and the webcam that you're watching me put my ugly face on here. I always tag the products and it's like if you were to go and buy them, I would get a commission from them. You can put those on shorts, which would be a good money maker if you're just like a reviewer. If you just review products or whatever, I could see shorts becoming viral and people buying through your tagged link. That could be a huge money maker. That's one thing to keep in mind. Now, I've not made a single sale, but I'm not pushing my products. It's not like I'm doing a 10 minute advertisement on my microphone here and it'd be like, ooh, by the way, guys, you can buy it in the link below. Maybe if you had more videos like that, you could really make some profit. If you get like a short that would pop off, get like 100,000 views. And if you even get like 0.5% of those people to buy it, you can get a pretty penny off that and make way more than you would from the AdSense from a short. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. Shoppable videos are a, um, a new ad revenue mechanism that you could use if you're a shorts creator and has really high potential. Some of them get really high potential like this microphone pays eight to 10% commission, which is crazy if someone to buy one. I don't have any sales. I'm not pushing microphones here, but just one thing to keep in mind. So I haven't noticed any significant drop off. I'm getting, I'm averaging like one to three subscribers per daily short I'm putting out. So it's cool that I'm getting new viewers who are actually liking the content. And then some of those new viewers will watch my long form content as well. It's very cool to see. So I, in conclusion, think that you really have to mesh your content together if you're hoping to get people to subscribe from your shorts and watch your long form content. It's a tricky game because shorts tend to be really dumbed down and for a younger audience. But for someone like me who's talking about side hustles and how how much money I make from them every day. I'm really focusing on more adult content. So I don't think I'll ever get one that kind of explodes in virality, but you're also going to get more people that watch your long form content because it's adult oriented content. And they're not just looking for a quick ADHD fix like you would on TikTok, and you want just bright flashing colors and ooh, look at this, look at what's happening viral outside person gets punched or something like that. You're kind of getting more informational stuff, stuff that should help motivate motivate you, stuff like that that's not meant for children. So I am working against the dynamic there because shorts are more meant for a dumbed down audience, to be quite honest. And they just want things quickly, absorb rapidly, and they're not really looking to retain information. So it'll be curious, you know, maybe the algorithm will shift to more adult oriented focused content like finances for shorts. And maybe I'll make even more revenue with shorts down the line for posting the same style of content. I'll keep everyone updated to see if anything changes, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something from posting shorts and long form content. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see my progress of trying to gain $40,000 in side hustles in a single year. The craziest goal I've ever set for myself. The highest I've ever gotten was just over 13,000. We are killing it so far this year, busting my ass. I have an eight to five job and I'm working before, during lunch and after my job. Uh, so it's been crazy. It's been a grind. So hope you enjoy the grind. Hope you can make some money yourself following the side hustles that I do follow along if you're in for more and I'll see everyone in the next video.